Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Best Coder. Today we're going to learn how to fix object dimensions and coordinates and how to set process modes on RDWorks. First, let's open the program and create a drawing. Now, let's take a simple example of a square. So you're going to start on the top left corner and then we just put the left button of the mouse down and drag it until we get something that looks like a square. When it comes to dimensions, you can get a very accurate dimension by going up to the top left corner of the screen. You'll see that there, there are two dimension boxes called X and Y, and next to those, there are two other boxes. Well, there's a horizontal arrow by that box, so if we click on somewhere on the black lines of the square, we'll get some handles. You'll notice that these dimensions have changed and then become black instead of gray. Now, this is obviously a horizontal dimension. At the moment it says 65, so let's change that into 100 then we wipe it from left to right and we'll do 100 and you see that the square changes when I press the enter then we'll make the other dimension 100 also so again we start on the left of the numbers push the mouse button down and wipe it across to the right and then we'll type the number we want which is 100 in this case so we've now got exactly a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter square and right in the middle of it we've got an X. Now if I move the X around you'll notice that X and Y here change. So these two are the center position of any figure that you put on there. So let's move those to 300. Again and start from the left and wipe it right and we'll make it into 300 and we'll go on the y-axis to make that into 100 now if we look uh, we'll see that it is on, a, on the exactly 300 coordinate and on the 100 coordinate so we know exactly where that is we'll now go, go on with a circle if I click and let go look what happens now if I press the control key it turns into a circle so keep the control key down while you click on your mouse and it'll remain as a circle now we can touch on it put the handles around there so we can go inside the circle at the moment it shows a 57 by 57 now just beside here we got a padlock. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to change just one of these dimensions. It doesn't matter where, so we sweep that across and there and we'll make it into 50. And both di dimensions will change to 50. Now, if I want this circle to line up perfectly in the middle of this square, what I've got to do is to remember what the coordinates are for the center of this. And they happen to be 300 by 100. So I'll go back and mark this one up and set this to 300. Let's do the same thing again. 300, enter by 100, enter. At this moment, we only have one layer, which is black. Now, for example, if we want the circle to be engraved and then cut out with a square, what we have to do is to add another layer. We can just pick one up of like this and let's choose the outside one and let's choose it to be a red layer. Okay, so now we've got two separate features on there. The first one is the circle which we will double click on the black and look what we now get is a set of cutting parameters to come up 
So we're on the black layer, which is the circle. The outs output speed, we can leave that at 100 millimeter per second. And then we've got minimum maximum power, depending on how deep we want to scan and what the material is. We can go by 20 and 30. Click on OK. Then we'll go to the red layer. We double click that. A speed 10, blowing yes, process mode cut. So again, we, we've only got one layer selected. The minimum power is going to be 80% and the maximum power is going to be 95%. It's not recommended to go above 95%. Okay, mm. and that's it. We're now ready to scan first and to cut second. Thank you for watching.